welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan and you are watching my World of Spot Wrestling review week three. One, two, three. We got there in the end. Kicking us off this week, we saw a new attitude to Grado as he went one on one against Charles Samuels. It was a pretty fun match. In the beginning it was just Che punishing Grado. Like this new Grado just had no skill or talent like the old Grado did and Shade just took advantage of that and wrecked him but once Grado shed his skin and Grado was back we had Grado just taking over the match and it became quite one-sided for him and it was it was a really fun match and it was nice to see two sides to Grado as well as Stu getting taught a lesson hopefully we see more from both Shea and Grado in the next seven weeks because they're both really talented and it's quite a story this. Next up we have the match that's been building since week one which is Joe Hendry versus Martin Kirby. Redemption or Revenge? It was a really great back and forth match with Joe kicking it off with his amateur wrestling style very quickly putting Martin in a corner and didn't regroup but it didn't take very long for Martin to use sly tactics and get their advantage and both men just didn't seem to want to give up and neither man could gain a full advantage of the other and it was just a really good match between both men and hopefully both men will get somewhere far hopefully more title matches in the future the third match of the night saw BT Gunn and Stevie Boy debuting taking on the debuting CJ Banks and well, match debuting CJ Banks and Brad Slayer. So first of all, BT and Stevie's entrance jackets. Impressive. Shiny. Impressive and shiny. It was a very one-sided match. CJ and Brad got some moves and tactics in the match, but it was very heavy on the side of BT Gun and Stevie Boy and it just it felt real it felt right that those would be the winners because there was just no gift between them they worked well together they them jackets as soon as those jackets came out you knew we saw our winners yeah it was just a really good match and again it was very one-sided but not every match needs to be back and forth as long as it looks good and tells a good story now the next match, if you can call it a match, was Gabriel Kidd versus Carreta. Gabe is a very resilient lad. He tried and tried, but it was never it was never an issue for Carreta. It was like Thanos playing with the Hulk in the beginning of Infinity War. Spoilers. He let him get in a few hits, but he knew right from the get-go that he didn't stand a chance. And it just didn't end well for Gabe. Not well at all. And the Munster Crater. Who knows who can stop him. Because I'm not sure there's anybody on the roster who's capable. If he gets his hands on that title. Ain't nobody taking it from him. And speaking of titles. We now lead into the main event. Which was a battle of titans. It was Rampage the champion. Taking on the challenger. Justin Sison. Now again. It was a really good match. It was again it was a battle of titans, like there was two powerhouses against each other. But when you've got Sison as a powerhouse as well as a high flyer, it just complements his skills really well. And it really looked like he stood a very good chance of winning the title, but Rampage knew what he was doing. He he kept bouncing back and in the end it took CJ Banks to get in the way and end Justin Sison's title dreams for this week at least because there's no way he's not giving up on that title two weeks time three weeks time that title he'll be around his waist because CJ and Shea they won't last long not when you've got Sison after you and I'm not biased I promise So overall it was a really good show, good storytelling throughout and I don't think anybody really came out of it looking 
terrible other than Gabe maybe but he'll be back stronger he'll be back better hopefully he'll be back so yeah that was this week's World of Spot Wrestling it was yeah it was a fun show next week we've got Will Ospreay versus Matt and Kirby and off the top of my head that's all I can remember I'm not sure if anything else got announced but yeah so we're a bit late on this video but I should see you in less than a week now for next week's episode okay catch you in a bit